Hi everyone, myself Navya Tarabi, working as assistant professor in the department of cyber security and data science in MLR Institute of Technology. Today, I am going to discuss about relational algebra and calculus. Overview of presentation includes query languages, types of query languages, relational algebra and operations. So, let us discuss briefly about this query language first. So, what is a query language? Language which is used to store and retrieve data from a database is known as query language. So, one of the examples of query language is nothing but SQL. So, as I already said, what is SQL stands for? Structured query language. And what are the types of query languages here? We have basically two types, procedural query language and non-procedural query language. So, let us discuss with uh, procedural query and non-procedural query languages. So, what is procedural query language? So, it is nothing but a user instructs the system to perform a series of operations or some set of operations to produce the desired results. So, let us deal this one with an example. Right. So, if at all I used to ask to bring a textbook, to bring a DBMS textbook from our library, to bring a DBMS textbook from our library. So, that is what a procedure, that means I am, uh, I am asking the others to bring a textbook from where, here I am telling from where to bring the textbook also, from the library. So, that is what a procedure. What is non-procedural query language? Just I am instructing others to bring a DBMS textbook from where it's, we, we, we may not bother, right. So, that is the basic difference between procedural and non-procedural. In procedural, we used to tell what we have, what we want to require and have to require. That means, the step by step procedure also we used to determine there. But in non-procedural, we used to express what we want but not how. Right? So, here the user tells what to do to be retrieved from the database and how to retrieve it. That means, so if at all we want some data, so that data also how the step by step procedure also will be explained here in procedural query language. The examples of procedural query language include basics and basic and photon. Right. What is non-procedural query language? So, here user instructs the system to produce the desired result without telling the step by step process. Just I have explained the example to bring a DBMS textbook that is it from where have to bring that is that is unnecessary for me right that comes under non-procedural query language. So, here user tells what the data to be retrieved from the database but does not tell how to retrieve it. So, here the example of this non-procedural query languages include SQL, Prolog and Lisp. So, now let us deal with the preliminaries, right. So, the input and outputs of the queries are nothing but relation. So, in the context of DBMS, what is a relation? Relation is nothing but what? A table. That means, we used to deal with the tables. The table contains set of rows and columns. In that rows and columns, we used to store the data, right. So, previously, we use field names to refer the fields. So, here fields are nothing but what? Columns. Fields are nothing but what? Columns. In those columns only, we used to uh, represent the data. Let us take one table or one relation with some certain sort of columns. That is, yes ID, yes name and yes mobile number. Here S stands for student ID, student name and student mobile number. Let us name the table as student table, right. So, here these are nothing but what the columns which are also called as fields or domains, right. So, previously we use field names to refer, uh, these are the names to, to go to this particular field and to retrieve this particular type of uh, data. Right. But here by using this relational algebra, so we can use what instead of field names, we can use the positions that is number 1, number 2 and number 3. By using these positions, we can refer these fields to retrieve a particular data from those fields. So, so in defining relational algebra and calculus, the alternative referring to the fields by position is more convenient than referring to the fields by 
name. So till now we refer the fields by considering the names of the fields. But by using relation algebra and calculus, we can use the position of those fields. Next, what is relational algebra? So what is relational algebra? It is nothing but a procedural query language. Here what is procedural query language? Just now we have discussed that means. So we used to, we used to tell what we want right? and the procedure also. So here relational algebra is a procedural query language used on relational model. So it collects what instances of relations as input and gives occurrences of relations as output. The inputs and outputs are all nothing but the set of relations, nothing but the tables only. So what is the instance here? Instance is nothing but at that particular moment of time. So what is the data in the table or a database that is what we called as instance. So here it uses various operations to perform this action. So in relation algebra, we use some set of operations. So like uh, select project. So in the next coming up in the next coming up slides, we used to discuss those set of operations. Right. So here relation algebra operations are performed recursively on a relation. Here in on a relation means on a particular table. So the set of operations can be performed repeatedly, repeatedly on the tables. So that is what relational algebra. So let us discuss the operations. So what are the basic operations involved in relational algebra is nothing but we have basic six basic operations. So what are those select operator, project operator, union operator, set difference operator, Cartesian product and rename. So what is here select operator? So select operator which is represented by sigma which is used to retrieve rows, rows from a relation, which is used to retrieve rows, particular rows from a re relation or a table. So how to retrieve these rows by defining some condition, right. So let us discuss briefly one by one operation in detail. So here select operator is denoted by sigma and which is used to select rows from a relation. So, what is the syntax to select this one? So, sigma. So, here we used to represent condition based upon this condition. Based upon this condition, we used to select the rows. Right. So, from which table? The table name must be represented here. The table name or relation. That will, this is your nothing but the syntax. So, here sigma, condition and the table name. Sigma represents what? To retrieve the rows from a particular table based upon this condition. So that is what the syntax here. So here let us deal this one with an example. Let us consider customer table. Let us consider customer table which consists of three columns. What are those three columns? Customer ID, customer name and customer city. Let us consider these three columns. And what is the table here? Customer. So now if at all I want to retrieve some of the rows. I want to retrieve some of the rows from this table name. So let us by by considering this syntax. So here I want the rows based upon the condition where customer name is equal to customer name is equal to call. Customer name is equal to call. Right. So and I have represented sigma. I have sigma means here nothing but to retrieve the rows. So based upon the rows, the condition I have represented customer name is equal to call. From which table I have to retrieve this one? From which table? Customer table. Here the table name is customer. So the customer table name must be represented here. So if I if I want to represent in this format, then what will be the output here? The row. The row will be retrieved from this table. What is the row whose name is call? Whose name is call? So what is the row here? See this the, this is the row will be retrieved. That means here the output will be what is the output C10118 which is nothing but the customer ID. Here the customer name is equal to call and Delhi. The whole row will be retrieved. This will be your output, particular output. So, in this manner, we used to represent the select operator in relational algebra. 
So here let us discuss the another example. See here, sigma customer city is equal to Agra. This is what the condition from which table? From customer table. So what he want to retrieve? He want to retrieve the rows whose customer city is equal to Agra, right? So let us go with what is Agra here? Customer city is nothing but Agra. We have two rows here. So these two rows will be retrieved, right? So, these two rows will be retrieved. So, the output will be these two rows. Based upon the condition only, we used to retrieve the rows. So, in this manner, we used to represent the select operator. So, next going to project operator. So, what is project operator? It is represented by the symbol pi. It is represented by the symbol pi and it is used to select the desired columns where the sigma operator is used to uh, select rows while the pi operator, project operator is used to retrieve desired columns, right, from a table, the syntax will be. So, here in the same manner, how we used to represent sigma, in the same manner we used to represent pi also. So, pi, here column names, column 1, column 2, these are nothing but what, the field names or domains, column from which table, from customer table, this is what the syntax. So, let us deal this one with an example. Let us consider the same customer table and let us consider the query as, see here, pi. Pi means what? We used to retrieve columns, right? What are the columns here? Customer name and customer city. These two columns I have to retrieve. So, from which table? From customer table. This is the table name. This is the table name. These are nothing but the column names, right? So, only these two columns can be retrieved. The next operator is nothing but union operator. So, what is union operator? Union operator is used to unite, unite the data from the two tables. If at all there is one common, common name or else the common thing has been appeared, then it will be displayed only once. So, here union operator is denoted by U symbol and it is used to select all the rows from the two tables. Right, the syntax of union operator is nothing but table name 1. For example, x is one table and y is another table. If we want to unite these two, so what will be the symbol x union y, right? So, let us consider this one with an example. So, here I used to consider table name 1 as course table and the second table is student table. Now, I want to unite these two tables, course table and student table. So, what will be? the query representation. So, here, see here, I have represented pi student name of course table, union pi student name of student table. Here, we used to represent what? Pi is nothing but project operator to retrieve columns. So, what is the column that I am going to retrieve here? Student name, right? So, here my output will be student name, right? From which table? From course table. I am uniting this one with the student name of student table. So, let us uh, deal, see the previous above two tables. Here, I am going to refer what student name column. This is one column which consists of Aditya, Steve, Paul, Lucy, right. And the next one is in the student table. Here, the student name is, names are Aditya, Steve, Paul, Lucy, Carl and Rick. Here, I used to unite these two tables. So, what will be the output? What will be the output? So, Aditya, Steve, Paul, Lucy, which are present in the course table also, here also, Aditya, Steve, Paul, Lucy. Here we have two names that will be displayed only once, okay. And along with these, we used to unite with student table, na? So, along with these, call and Rick also will be printed. That is what union operator. So, what is here the output, the student name? We have united what course two tables, course table and student table, and we have picked which column, student name column. So the student name, the output will be what Aditya, Carl, Paul, Lucy, Rick, and Steve. Right? This is what the output. Union operator. So till now we have discussed the three operators that is uh, selection, projection, and union operator. So let us discuss uh, the next three operators and relation calculus in the next session. Thank you.